So I think that brings us to the next order of business, which is a, a review of Selectman Stone's report of board postings and agendas, postings of agendas and minutes to the town website. Selectman Stone has prepared a detailed report of the postings on the town website of committee agendas and minutes. And Mr. Stone will lead a discussion. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. The following report was obtained from postings on the town's website and contains all of the year 2016 and six months of 2017. This was done in accordance with the provisions of the open meeting law and a town bylaw enacted April 28, 2015 by the Board of Selectmen to ensure the availability of minutes online to the public. The report indicates that only two-thirds of the meetings held have had minutes posted. Uh, there are timing factors involved and people are needed to produce the minutes. So we will not have 100% compliance at any given time. But we need to be aware of the issue and decide if necessary on an appropriate action to try and improve the situation. Uh, just for example, in the first six months of this year, we have 23 boards and committees who have posted agendas. Uh, nine have zero minutes posted. Now, some of the committees and boards may meet on a monthly basis, so they would produce an agenda and the next time they met, which would be a month hence, they would have the opportunity to vote on those minutes. So there is going to be a discrepancy between the number of agendas on the website and the number of minutes posted. Uh, right now we're somewhere, I'll call it 70%, uh, where you have so many agendas posted and so many minutes posted for those meetings. So um, the reason why I've done this is because we've always felt, uh, the Board of Selectmen has always felt that personally we can't attend all of these meetings because they, a lot of them are on the same night that we have our meeting. Uh, also, uh, with the open meeting law, the public has a right to look at this information and to see what is going on in the town. So I believe it is an important issue. And uh, the question I have is, does the, board, uh, does the board have any idea on how we might assist in bringing this to the attention of the various boards and their committees um, of the importance of this matter? Uh, we may even have an issue where a board or a committee may have a chairman and several people who would, who would be a member, but there may be a reluctance uh, from someone to accept the responsibility of being the recording secretary. So that also can be a factor. It's, uh, it, it's an important job. It's a reflection of what the board is doing and has done in the past. So I would be, I would be open uh, to comments from the board on, on the figures that I have produced. And I've only produced them just to identify um, what the situation is. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to single out any particular board or committee. I'm not going to mention anyone. Uh, there, there can be various reasons why there is difficulty uh, having as many minutes posted as perhaps they should have. So it's about 70 70 percent. That seems like a pretty good uh, pretty good indication that minutes are being posted. But then again, I'm not sure under the open meeting law um, how they would look at it. So I just want to make sure the town is is doing what we should do. So if anyone has a comment or a suggestion or something that maybe the board could do to try to uh, uh, get this figure of around 70% uh, up 
to 80% of whatever it's going to be. I'd, I'd like to see it to be the maximum possible, but I don't know what that is. So I gave you the figures, and uh, so I'd be open to comments, suggestions, or what does the board, if anything, want to try to do something to improve this? Well, thank you for putting this together. It certainly is an important issue and a lot of ramifications when we don't post minutes. And the most concerning factor of this report is we've actually gone down since last year, which is very concerning. I have a question for Ed. Would an so, audio recording count as minutes? No. Based on our open meeting law experts sitting over there, uh, Sabrina, who's well versed in this, will say no. No, there needs to be a written, and, and quite frankly, the website and electronic public records law has changed, and everything's moving toward electronic responses. They want everything posted to websites. Audio files on a website, there's no reasonable way to accommodate it. Okay. Um, the standard formatting is a Word document with text to speech enabled, so that people could then turn around and listen to the written report or accounting. But uh, this storage space alone with the electronic wave file would be um, Most people keep audio files. Those are available to people, particularly in the zoning board. When they really want to hear a conversation, they can go and sit down and listen to it. Uh, but it does need to be recorded in writing and voted on by the board. I see. It's also important to know that uh, minutes are not a verbatim recording of the meeting. The minutes uh, take into account uh, votes per uh, uh, verbatim, but if they don't, you do not everything that was discussed. You list the, the generalities of, of what was discussed in the meeting, and, that, and that's uh, I'm paraphrasing from 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 the Mass State Law. It does not have to be a, a verbatim. Very important effective. factor as well. So. I'd suggest we try to identify the boards that are being less compliant and reaching out to them and seeing if there's an issue. The only thing is, I know we did this last year, and there didn't seem to be any issues that were identifiable and actionable. So what do you guys think? So the bylaw does not give the, the selectmen any teeth on on how to in, enforce this. It's not, does it doesn't give the selectmen any any enforcement on it, but uh, Lou's concern uh, that, it, that he, if he didn't mention explicitly, goes to if there is ever an open meeting law violation or a, um, a, a call from someone in the public for the minutes and we don't have them, uh, then we can run into an issue uh, with the state. So to, to avoid the town, for the town to be compliant, uh, we need the minutes here. So I think Lou, if you, you are looking for suggestions, that um, something on the, a letter to all boards and committees, not just the chairman, but every member, uh, something on uh, the board selectman letterhead uh, to make sure everyone's aware of their responsibilities just to start with. And we can, we can start there. Okay. Anyone else? Well, I think that's a good suggestion, and I, I'm certainly in favor of doing that. Uh, can I make a suggestion to the board that uh, maybe I sit down with uh, with uh, Mr. Fawn and uh, put together something and then bring it to the board for your review? And uh, given your approval, we can send it out. I think that sounds good. Okay, do we need a vote on that? Oh, I'm sorry, I was writing in my notes. Um, no, I, I think that that's fine. I mean, uh, Lou and I will uh, will prepare a letter and we'll have it for your uh, August 7th agenda. All right, very and, good. And if you could just emphasize, uh, among the other things that you normally would, that it's it's their duty and responsibility to prepare the minutes. Okay. Very good. Well, and if thank you for tell that them suggestion, and, and uh, we will have it at the next scheduled meeting. If you can tell them that there's an easier way to do it than just trying to 
write in hieroglyphics during the course of a meeting and write down everything that's said, which is the end point that you don't need to have everything that's said. You need to have the votes and the highlights, basically. And, um, you know, to record the meeting, to make it easier for the uh, clerk of the committee to go back and say, you know, refresh their memory and that kind of thing. Um, it, it's an easier way than to try to, you know, piece together something yeah. the following day. I certainly know the difficulty of that job because I've been uh, asked to do that at several committees that I have been on over the years. And in business, I was uh, also uh, elected, if you will, uh, to take minutes at several of these business meetings with many people there. So I'm very well aware of the difficulty and uh, uh, somebody it's not an easy job, but uh, it's an important one, and hopefully uh, everyone will take that to heart, how important it is. Thank you. I think that sounds like a great solution.